What's up guys, welcome back to Big Body and Bach. Today I'm going to be reacting to Demon Slayers episode 19 and 20. Uh, so we left off last episode with Tanjiro getting his sword broken and it looked like he was about to get slashed. I don't think he's going to get slashed. He's either going to dodge, Gyu's going to show up, or maybe Shinobu, or that demon girl there is going to help him out because she might be getting fed up with Ruri and like uh, Ruri attacking her all the time. Uh, but I definitely think he's going to make it out of that slash. And then I guess we're going to see what happens after that. Um, but speaking of Giyu and Shinobu, they ended up showing up. Shinobu ended up uh, going to Zenetsu. I hope she helped him out. And maybe she'll help out anybody else there who's been turned into spiders. Um, and Giyu went to Inosuke and helped him out against the dad demon. Ended up one-shotting him. It was, that was pretty epic. I mean, Giyu is so badass. I definitely want to see like what Giyu does when he goes all out uh, even Shinobu too like the Hashira like strength level seems to be like just a whole another tier so when we see a Hashira go all out it's probably gonna be insane um, but yeah I'm excited to start this episode and see what happened to Tanjiro so let's get into it okay he dodged alright so that's what happened damn Giyu was so badass taking that thing out in one slash yeah I got that same vibe, Inosuke. Nah, that wasn't the 12th Kazuki, bro. And plus, you'd get waxed by Giyu. <laughs> Damn. Yo, I respect Inosuke, though. Oh, that's right, Giyu knows Tanjiro. <laughs> Yo, he tied your ass up. Girl, you stop with this yuhu bullshit. I need some help. What the fuck? <laughs> help him. Damn. All right, so that's a respect. Yo, I don't think you can handle this guy, Tanjiro. I think she might play a role. She might help him. Why? Forgive me. Oh, because the sword is broken. Yeah. Bro, pay attention. Damn, he's even holding back. He's probably not even doing 50% right now. Oh shit. What happened? Yo, Nezuko, clutch! Damn. It's okay though, she can regenerate. Yo, that's a true bond. See, Nezuko and Tanjiro, join them, not this fake ass bullshit. Yeah? Yeah, so what? Damn. And she's gonna need to go to sleep to regenerate too. Bro, Roy's like getting mind fucked right now. Oh shit! Yo, Ruri is crazy. Dude, see, you don't want to be associated with this guy. No, no, against. You can kill him with Tanjiro's help. Damn, I thought she was gonna help Tanjiro. I guess not. Okay. The fuck? Get out of here, man. What the hell? What do you think Tanjiro's gonna say? Get that trash out of here, man. I mean, what do you expect Tadro to say? Exactly. I don't know what you're gonna do with that broken ass sword, though. Yes, I knew it. Alright, he is the moon. You can't handle him, Tadro. You need help. Oh, 
Yeah, I mean, what the? Yo, he just snatched her. Fuck. Come on, Nezuko, you can fight back a little bit. Give him an elbow to the gut, or an uppercut to the face. Come on. That's right, slash his ass. Alright, get some damage. Oh, Alright, Tanjiro, let's go. What? Yeah, where'd she go? Oh my god. Fuck! Yo, he's already healed? Well, she's probably in so much pain, though. Damn, Tanjiro can't even get close to him. Oh, fuck. Yo, gave him that backhanded bitch slap. Yo, Ruri's very confident he could whip Tanjiro's ass. Oh, damn. Oh, fuck the one, too. That's what I was saying. What are you gonna do? Your sword is broken. Damn, Nezuko's probably in so much pain. Yo, Giyu, Shinobu, somebody! My boy needs help. Oh, fuck. Alright, Chandro, use something. Alright, let's go, the 10th form. Let's see this. Yeah, water dragon is ass. Come on. Oh fuck, what is this? Oh no. Alright, Giyu, Shinobu. Yo, is, is that his life flashing before his eyes? Oh, baby Tanjiro and Nezuko. Damn, he's in a flashback. Oh, his dad has a scar too. Why is he remembering this? His Ta Tanjiro's family has to be special then. That's why he has a scar and his dad has a scar. Yeah, there's definitely something special about his family. Yo, the music! What the fuck is this? Fire? Bro, I'm getting goosebumps! Yo, I... I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I'm here for it. Let's go. Bro, this OST! Yo, this looks so epic! Oh, don't go running now, bitch! Yo! Woo! The thread! Let's go! Fucking slash his ass! Come on, come on! The mom? Damn. What the? Oh, she's getting her own blood demon art! Let's go! Yo! Take this combo piece, bitch! Fuck yes, let's go! Oh, you're done! Unbreakable bond, bitch! Let's get it! Oh, yo, what an episode. Fuck yes. Yo, so epic. Tanjiro's body's probably so beaten right now. So Tanjiro's family has to be, like, special. They got, like, because his dad was even talking about breathing, so... Maybe they got, like, breathing with fire or something? Or fire breathing, I should say. 
Yo, why isn't Ruri's body disintegrating? Don't tell me this bitch is still alive. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. What? What? How? Oh my god. Ah, fuck. I gotta give it to Ruri, that's pretty nice. Even Tanjiro got a level up, he still couldn't do it. Damn, he looks so pissed, but he's acting so calm. Alright, I'm gonna need Giyu or Shinobu to show up now. Fuck. No. Fuck. Damn. Oh, thank you. Yo, Giyu, so graceful. Zenetsu? <laughs> what the f- Alright, let's see a Hashira versus 12 moon. Ooh, let's go turn up Giyu. 11th form? What is this? Bro, did he even move his sword? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, how you blink and get your head cut off? <laughs> Damn. Oh, we're getting her backstory? Oh, these guys are gonna die. So this is how she became part of Ruri's family? Yo, you guys are done. Oh! Yo, quick! Minced meat. Damn, just the hand. Whoa, that's more than the five. Got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, plus Ruri, eight. So she would be nine. What happened to the other four? Oh, so this is how Ruri's going to turn her into, like, one of them. Huh. This is kind of like what Muzan does. Ah, uh, I wonder if all the 12 moons can do this then. Like, give blood to... Demons and people. Can she not like handle it? Damn. Bro, what type of horror movie shit is this? So you have to rip off her face to give her this new face? This evil ass family eating dinner. What are they eating anyway? I thought they only eat humans. Bro, what happened to you to look like that? And you too, how the heck you come out like a spider? Oh, they're playing house, okay. Who is that? Revert back. Are these people who turn back into like the regular demon forms? Wait, that's the mother? This person's just a kid! She looks younger than Ruri! And Ruri is crazy, man. Well, oh, we know how this ends, because I did not see her. Until now, so clearly she doesn't make it out of this. Ruri probably finds them. Ruri could probably sense them too, because they have his blood. Wait. No. This snitch. 
Wow. Damn. What a bitch, man. Oh, he just sold her out. I felt a little bad for you, too. After seeing what Ruri did to you, but... Yeah, not anymore. At least maybe now she's free. She's not bound by Ruri, but... That's awful. Yeah, you're worse. Oh, this guy. Damn, quick. That's what she said. Yo, the pull-up. <laughs> Where'd she come from? Alright, Shinobu, let me see what you can do. Damn. Oh, <laughs> catch these feet. Fuck. I don't trust anything she says anymore. What? Oh, she looks kind of scary right here. Yeah, see, I don't trust anything that comes out of that demon's mouth anymore. Yo, help him! Alright, Shinobu, come on. The West, what's in the West? Damn, she has 80 of those things? Be reborn. Bro, Shinobu is terrifying. So she's just gonna torture her. Oh. Yo, Shinobu's about to turn up and kill your ass. Yo, she about to pull a Giyu? Yo, she is epic. Yo, already done. She didn't cut her head off. Wait, if she can't behead, how does she kill demons? I doubt that. What is going on? Poison. Okay, so that's how she kills demons. Yo! She is epic. I like her. No, she's badass, but she's scary as fuck. Wisteria poison. So can all demon slayers do that then? What if they all lace their blades with, like, wisteria? Like, any slash, so now they don't have to cut the head. If they just cut the demon, wouldn't they just be gone? <laughs> Blink and you're done. Oh, please tell me he's dead this time, man. Uh... Damn. Alright guys, really amazing episodes. Episode 19 was fantastic. I mean that ending sequence, the animation, the OST was so amazing. Even Nezuko's blood demon art, the way they showcased that, just was so good. I was so hyped there. When Tanjiro slashed off his neck, I was like, let's go. It was just so epic. Um, it looks like Tanjiro can do fire attacks now. I mean, uh, I'm not sure how he does it exactly, but it seemed like in the flashback he has something to do with his family heritage. We saw uh, when Tanjiro's life was flashing before his eyes that his dad was doing some fire dance. Uh, I think came from their family, uh, his mom was saying. Um, so Tanjiro looks like he can do it too. So I wonder if that's like something that's been passed down throughout their whole family. And um, I wonder if that guy that was mentioned in one of the earlier episodes, I forget which episode exactly, but when we got that Muzan flashback, like when he saw Tanjiro's earrings, he saw that guy in the flashback, like the, the, I'm guessing the demon slayer who like almost killed Muzan or like pushed him far. So I wonder if that person is like from Tanjiro's heritage and that's why Tanjiro has those earrings. His dad also said make sure you get those earrings. So those earrings are obviously important 
Um, Tanjiro's dad also also had the same scar as Tanjiro, so I wonder if that scar is like important as well. Maybe it signifies something. Maybe it's like that family birthmark. Maybe it's not a scar. Maybe it's a birthmark. Um, we'll probably find this all out as like as the story progresses, but uh, it might be epic now. Tanjiro might be able to do fire and water attacks. Maybe he can mix them in, and he could be like uh, like a multi-elemental guy. Um, I know that the actual water and fire don't get shown. Um, it's more like visual effects and it's just to showcase like the rotations, but uh, it does look really epic. Um, we also found out that Nezuko can do a blood demon art now, exploding blood. That was really epic as well. Um, I'm glad Nezuko can like kind of level up now because I was wondering like as the story progressed, would she get her own blood demon art and maybe get like stronger with her demon powers? Because it would only make sense like the more she sleeps and regenerates and kind of like uh, grows in her own body she should be able to get stronger so now Tanjiro and uh, Nezuko can probably fight a little bit stronger demons um, but as we saw in this episode they're not ready for a 12 moon yet because even with all that epicness we found out in episode 20 that Ruri was still alive I was pretty pissed about that I was like after all of that he's still alive uh, but what he did was pretty nice though the fact that he slashed his own head before Tanjiro could that was smart um, uh, yeah, but then Ruri was still alive, and it looked like he was about to take Tanjiro out until Giyu came and did the 11th form. I had only thought there were 10 forms, but uh, Giyu showed up and did the 11th, um, and <laughs> Ruri literally blinked and got his he head slashed off. Um, but that was so epic right there when he slashed his head off, and it looks like he's down for the count, because we saw at the end of the episode his head there, and it looked like Ruri was about to get a flashback. Usually when the demons are about to die, we get a flashback of them, so we might get that at the start of next episode, so it looks like he's finally taken out. Um, Hashira is on like a whole different level, man. Like, Giyu took out the demon dad a couple episodes before, he took out Ruri in one slash, and even Shinobu in this episode as well took out um, that girl demon, like, instantly. Um, and speaking of Shinobu, she's epic, man. I like kind of like her little introduction in this episode, showing showcasing. A little bit of her abilities and um, her insect breathing um, but she is definitely terrifying man she was like uh, getting a little bit like in the crazy area trying talking to that demon girl saying how she was gonna torture her um, but we don't know anything about her past right so maybe that has something to do with her past so I'm definitely interested to learn about uh, her more as the story progresses um, but yeah we left off the episode with looks like we're gonna get like maybe a Ruri flashback so excited to see where that goes in the next episode, but it looks like this mission is all clear now, so the squad was successful. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for me guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you could drop a like down below, leave a comment on what you guys thought about these two awesome episodes. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for me, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.